Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. Good evening, everyone. It is not morning, but it is... Actually, it's kind of a gloomy day here in Alaska. Um, I'm going a little stir crazy. I love this baby. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. We just, it's cold outside. It's actually like 50 degrees, but it's a little chilly and we haven't been able to go to the house and the house is a freaking wreck. Sparta, not cleaning up after yourself. You always look so mean. Why? See that tongue sticking out? Kind of, that kind of makes you look cute, but then you, oh man. It's just, it's time for Corey to come home. That's all it is. We have been having a hectic and fun and just hectic day. Corey found a house. If you guys missed yesterday's vlog, go watch it. He found a house. Um, the house he found fell through, but he found another house. Today he went to go look at a house and he FaceTimed me and showed me around the entire place. Um, he walked around it for a very long time with me on the phone, looking in all the cabinets, looking. <laughs> Child, what are you doing? What are you doing over there besides making a ginormous mess? Just having fun with your book, doing circles. <laughs> I just snorted. Anyway, we looked in this house. He loved it. Like everything he's texted me about this house was, I could make a short film here. I could make my office could go there. I could make music here. Like he is so amped about this house that he found today. And I love it too from afar. I have not seen in the house cause I'm not there with him, but the pictures, the video, like the FaceTime, it all looks awesome. It all looks great. We saw the disclosures on the house. Nobody's died. There are no like burial grounds underneath it. It seems like a perfect house. So we made an offer on the house today, but we made the offer late in the day. So we have not heard from the buyers whether they liked our offer or not, but hopefully they do because this house, it is an awesome house. I, I would love to live at this house. There is, it's just really cool. It's a really cool house. And I am not going to say any more until we know if it's ours, which hopefully should be soon. Um, I think it will be any of the people like are motivated to sell it. But anyway, okay. I'm, I'm getting too excited. It's a cool house. We made an offer and, um, I'm not going to clean our house. Our house looks like someone came in and robbed us. Like there is literally just stuff everywhere. But that is this lady's doing. And I'm just gonna leave it for Corey. I, one, wasn't gonna show you guys that because it's frankly embarrassing how our house looks right now. Two, I was gonna clean it all up before Corey got home tonight. But um, you know what? Forget it. Our house is a mess because it is extremely hard to take care of a baby full time. Excuse me. Eat. I'm not very good at eating, <laughs> but it is very hard to take care of a baby full time. Keep all the other aspects of our business going. Corey, you know, has his children's book coming out. So I'm trying to get the final touches for that done. <sighs> Raising kids is a full-time job. And if you are a stay-at-home parent or if you know stay-at-home parents, don't let anyone tell you or them otherwise because it is tough business. And it's not even like 40 hours a week because they don't go home at 5 p.m. You don't get to go home at 5 p.m. It's just continuous. So yeah, I have chosen while Corey's gone to devote my time to this baby that is just eating a spoon and spinning around in circles instead of keeping the housework done. I don't eat my foot, that's gross. Because I love you and I want you to be a happy girl and I want to spend time with you and so that's what we've done, huh? Business and babies and no picking up the house. <laughs> yeah, yes you have yogurt on your face. It's all kisses. I thought we were getting ready for bed, but instead, what are we doing, Jill? 
Are we bouncing? Are we bouncing up and down? Yeah! <laughs> She'd kind of forgotten about this bouncer and she was bouncing on my lap and so I put her in here and man does she love it! Okay, I can't do it. I can't leave the house like this. I just put Chell to bed and the house is just driving me too crazy. It's only 6 p.m. So I have tons and tons of time before Corey gets home at like two. So I'm gonna clean for a while and then I'm gonna work and somewhere in there I will eat. And yeah, I, I just can't do it. I'm a little too like type A. I, I like things to be clean and this is like getting on my last nerve. So I have my grown up iced tea and uh, let's get to work, shall we? First things first, where the crazy naked burglar came and raided my cabinets in our dining room. Done. Next is what I like to call the mess that is chill. I can't, I can't clean that part yet because, well, just look. I can't move this basket. This basket has, has somebody staying in there right now. You don't, no, you don't have to leave. It's okay. You can hang out for a while. I don't, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for moving, poo, -poo. <laughs> And done. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm. Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do. And the best part is we're sharing it.